supervising animal control. Yeah, <laughs> As you know, Pete uh, McKinnon retired last uh, about a year ago, uh, after 30 years with us. So we now have uh, Tony Parmazano, town resident, uh, as our animal control officer. And if there's any questions on that program, I remember you say you used to call it repeat, and you can't do that anymore. Uh, that was so <laughs> easy to come well, in. Why uh, can't you call it retown? Because he's a big guy, and he probably <laughs> wouldn't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> any questions on animal control, Mr. Walbert? So. Chief, I just want to, and by the way, uh, Pete McKinnon is, well, the best. So, I mean, uh, just one of the best ever. My question is, on regular wages, you have one senior animal control, I, I didn't know we called them senior animal control <laughs> officers, at start step 41907. What is the range? So that's going to, that's step one. What is that going to go up to eventually? I mean, is it going to go up to 70,000 or 60,000? Well, no, that's control. There, uh, the animal control officer is part of the uh, collective bargaining unit with the right. Teamsters. So whatever benefits you get in range is, is controlled by the CBA. So I don't have that in front of me, so I can't tell you what the top step is on that right now. So my other, uh, thank you. My other question, and, and all the other stuff outside of this next question is fine. I understand the supplies and everything. Overtime wages, why isn't it 10,000 or why isn't it 2,000? Why is it, because my, my question is, we got spoiled with Pete McKinnon, so you could call him on a Saturday morning or a Saturday yeah. night, and believe me, I did, or a Sunday. I understand that's not the case here. The hours 7 to 3.30 or something Monday through Friday. I'm just asking. Those are the principal hours, but he is so, subject to calling on overtime. Right. So what, where did the 5,500, how would we know, how, how would that number, how would you know what to put in that number? i got to be honest. It was one of those ones where we had a changeover in personnel. And we seem to be getting more and more calls for things that are, if you look at what the animal control officer by definition does, mm -hmm. it's primarily canine. It's dealing with domestic animals. But we have a lot of issues going on in this community dealing with wildlife issues right. that people call us and they ask for help. And we'd love to tell them, you got to call fishing game, but fishing game, they have one fishing game officer for this area. And he's not always available. So when somebody's got a raccoon in the basement or in the attic, we're going and we're going to deal with it. We're not going to leave a citizen high and dry dealing with an animal problem. That our animal control officer also has a extensive training. He was a canine officer for Essex County yeah. for many years. Yeah. Um, he was a former police officer with us, and he's gone out on his own and done a lot of training prior to get, accepting this position. So he's capable of, of doing uh, a lot of things that we didn't do in the past. Uh, and more people, it just seems like more people are calling us, Brian. I mean, <coughs> every time I turn around, he's rescuing an owl or a hawk <coughs> and taking him up to the, the uh, folks up in Epping that have the, the rehab facility. Right, yeah, for that. It just I, seems we've been, we, we've been hit with a, a spike in it. Maybe it's temporary. I, I can't tell you that. I, and the, the reason I bring that up, and, and I can appreciate that, yeah. but as an addendum to what the role is, mm -hmm. 15 years ago, you pick up the phone on a Saturday afternoon, you call the police department, can you send Pete McKinnon out? Always came out. Sunday, holidays. Yep. What do we tell the public? What is the current situation? Because I, I love, we, the animal control officer is so important in the town. I agree. But what, if I'm understanding the position, what it is now, the public out at large watching this, on a weekend or a weekend night or after hours, they still would call the police department. Is that something that the answer would be, well, call us back Monday. I'm just trying to. No, we. Uh, like I said, Tony comes out uh, pretty consistently. If if he's in town, he'll come out. He he's, he he loves his job. He loves doing it. He loves coming out to help people. Um, we had a, a, a citizen in town that didn't know what to do because on her cellar door she had a massive wasp nest mm -hmm. and didn't know what to do. Now, ironically, Tony happens to be a beekeeper <laughs> as a hobby. So he grabbed his bee suit, went down. Not really the animal control officer's job, but he was trying to help. And we, you know, when we got a citizen in need, I don't like hearing the words, it's not my job. Mm -hmm. Somebody calls us, we're there to solve problems. And most times when a citizen doesn't know who to call, they're going to call the police department or the fire department. And if we have the means to help somebody right. without increasing liability and risk to the town, obviously, we're going to do it even if it's not traditionally a role of that employee, we're going to do what we can do to help that citizen. So thank you. I anticipate you'll see, I, don't, I haven't heard of anybody complaining that we're not being responsive in that area. So if you have heard something, please let me know. Thank you. Yep. Mr. Morrow. I let you know last year. 
<laughs> yeah, we dealt with that. We dealt with that. We did. Because when I talked to him on the phone, yeah. to come down to at least speak to the people, the dog was barking constantly on and off without doing it. And he basically told me he wouldn't come. He, he only works from 7.30 to 3.30. And uh, my job was that, th and he wouldn't come down unless he had at least, to the people, three or four complaints. That, those are his words. Okay. And then I said, well, how about going? Yeah, well, call, if it's midnight, what do you do? He said, well, call up the police station. I'm going to call the police station up at midnight and the, report it. Well, when I get three or four calls from it, then I'll go down and see them. Well, I Dave. hope that's changed because what you just said, it sounds like it has changed. Well, Dave, Hopefully here's what I'd right. ask you. You were new at a job before, right? Pardon me? You were new at a job at some time in your life, right? Were you an expert at it then? I would bet you you weren't. My point was when I was doing mm. a job, I would do anything at any time for anything, even even. But even people have to learn their job first, Dave. And they have to understand he comes in and does his job, and he looks at the job, and I think I just went on at nauseum about we're doing more than we've ever done. He had just started the job when you called me. He was like two weeks on the job when you called me. So he's trying to work within the parameters that is established in the contract and by rules. As we begin expanding, you start seeing that. But to criticize somebody in their first couple of weeks of a job, I'm sorry I don't agree with you. Okay. He's done a great job. Is there any other questions on animal control budget? No? Okay.